Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today is going to be another makeup tutorial, how I always do. I am going to be using the new Dubious Place, the coffee shop palette, which y'all know this is right up my alley, like the neutrals. It's like, it's very cool toned, but I managed to make it work. But there's some warmer shades in here. Now, let me take this plastic off. But there's some warmer shades in here, but I made it work for me and I love how it turned out. This I've had it since it first dropped and I haven't used it. And I was like, you know what? Let me come on here and pull out my old Juvia's Place. Like my go-to so i'm going to be using this palette for the eye look um, i'm going to show you all the products that i use throughout the video um, that way if you guys are interested it will all be linked down in the description box as well i'm going to be recording another video right after this so i'm not going to talk too much in this video um, or in this intro here um, so yeah i hope you guys enjoy i hope you guys are happy to see my face back because i'm happy to be back and i'm happy to like start getting back into doing some videos like I said in my last video, it's just been crazy trying to like figure out a routine and what will now work in this new situation. Um, if you guys want me to like kind of vlog more or like talk about that more, let me know down in the comment section. I will definitely do that. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, let's get into this look. Cause I'm so first I'm going to be going in with the Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette. I believe this one is in the shade two and I'm just using that to prep my eyes for the eyeshadow. Next, I'm gonna go on with the Juvia's Place Chocolate Palette, and I'm gonna take this brown right here, and I'm gonna use that as a initial transition color, just to give it, you know, a little bit of depth, some warmth, a start, starting up that warmth of this look that I'm trying to create. Next, I'm gonna go in with the slightly lighter brown and I'm just gonna use that to help blend out that color and just to make it a lot more seamless so I'm just gonna use that color pretty much to blend I do use this throughout the video um, or throughout this look really just to help blend everything together so it's nice and seamless I really liked both of these colors um, they're very very pretty and very up my alley Next, I'm gonna go on with the deeper brown shade, not the darkest one, but the next closest one to this one, and I'm just gonna use that in that outer portion of my eyelid, um, like that outer V, outer corner. Um, and I kind of bring it in about one third of the way in. And I'm just gonna go in back with that same second brown color that I used and just blend all of that out again so it's nice and seamless. Um, this color was like pretty much a nice color for my complexion to just help with blending. And I'm just gonna go back in with that um, eyeshadow base just to kind of clean up that up a little bit before I apply some of the more shimmer satin colors. And then I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I applied most of it with my finger on my lid. I found that this worked really good with this color. It worked good with a brush too, but I wanted to try it out with my finger because sometimes it just works out better and I did like doing that. And then just to get kind of towards the top, then I went in with a brush to kind of fill in that little line um, towards the top of where I added back that eyeshadow base. Now I'm going to go in with like this lighter champagne shimmer color and then just apply that to my inner tear duct just to brighten up that area or in like the, the inner third portion of this look. 
very pretty color as well this was actually really a really good lid color as well but I wasn't trying to do that braid this day and then I go back and forth between those two colors just so that it's nice and blended and very seamless now I'm going to go with my current favorite look at liner. This is the Beauty Bakery Lollipop Liner. Um, I really like this one. I've used it before plenty of times. You guys have seen it. Um, it's kind of the one that I've been using since they don't make my NYX eyeliner anymore that I used to love. They don't make that one anymore so I have been buying this one and I really like it. It is waterproof so you know if you're into that. <laughs> just so you know it is waterproof so you do have to use like an oil-based cleanser to get it off it will not wash off with just soap and water I promise you you're gonna have to use some sort of oil-based um, makeup remover or coconut oil or something like that so you definitely need something that's gonna break down that thing um, these are the Arlel Texturize Lashes in 578. I love these lashes. I did not think I was going to like them. I usually like the really baby demi wispy lashes, something super short. But these were really good. I love the like kind of Invisibland invis they have on the Ardell lashes on a lot of them. Um, I love these lashes. Like I have to get more. I just got these at my local beauty supply store and I just wanted to try them out just to see and I love them they look super natural they're not as big as they look in the package it was like kind of intimidating for me because you guys know I don't do lashes that often but this really worked so I really enjoy that yeah I'm definitely gonna be buying more of these lashes for sure now I'm gonna go on with the milk hydra grip primer to go all over my face one of my favorite primers as of the past year um, I love this primer now I'm gonna go in with my black radiance corrector again one of my favorite correctors it's just like the perfect color for any like dark spots that I have on my face um, under my eyes as well just for like when I'm you know got them dark under eye circles sometimes so really like this it really helps with discoloration and I find that I don't I don't usually have to like apply any additional concealer on dark spots when I color correct so last product it's a win for me now I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in chestnut I haven't used this in a while that's the only reason I pulled it out um, I like it the shades um, not as bright as I normally would go I believe I'm mixing maple and chestnut actually um, but it's nice I like it I still like it I just haven't used it in a while now to contour I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place um, shade stick in Congo which is the darkest one I believe they have um, I really like their shade sticks they just work really well before I blend all that in I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and I just blend that out with a beauty sponge. This sponge right here is from e.l.f. They are really soft. Don't sleep on the ones from e.l.f. They are really actually pretty good. I like it. It's not like really hard and dense. Um, it's really like nice and like bouncy. So I like it to like blend out my concealer. Um, it's really, really, actually really soft, especially once you get it. You know wet and squeeze it out it just feels so like like a pillow almost I love this now I'm gonna go in and just blend out my contour I kind of like I've been doing this for a while like when I apply my concealer and contour underneath my foundation I do this a lot I end up using less foundation when I do this so that's why I do it um, plus I just feel like it looks more natural and not overdone I usually like my makeup to be pretty natural looking like not kinky so to speak so I find that that helps I'm gonna go in with this Estee Lauder double wear foundation I love this foundation it is really really nice it's really good for the summertime those warmer months because it is like it will stay in place this is the foundation I think I told you guys before I wore for my wedding which I got married on an island and my makeup did not move 
I love this foundation I don't wear it that often because it is like full on beat like full 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 covered so I don't wear it that often but I do love it now I'm gonna go on with the Fenty Pro Filter powder I believe this is in honey and yeah I love this powder I didn't think I was gonna love it but I I, I actually really really like it and I just go in a puff to apply that remember we used to do this back in the day and then like all of a sudden we weren't doing that we were using our beauty sponges for a while now we're back to using the puff but the puff i just realized it just works so much better than anything else i'm gonna go in with this shade neo from the juvia's place um i think this is saharan volume one then i'm going to spray my face with the beauty bakery setting spray and just kind of use my fan just to dry that out a little bit before i use my sponge to Kind of press that into my skin now i'm just going to apply a little bit more of that lighter champagne color into my inner tear duct um, just to brighten it up just a little bit more than it was And I'm going to use that same shade to use to highlight the tip of my nose, down the nose of my bridge, and my cheeks, a little bit on my forehead. It's like the perfect color actually to do that. So that's why I used mainly because I didn't want to get up and get another highlighter. So that's what I did. And then I'm going to go in and final set my face with the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and just blend that in with my beauty sponge and just press it into the skin. Now I'm gonna go in with the lip liner from Juvia's Place. I believe this one is, it's either Koala or Brownie. Either one will work. I believe it's Brownie though because this was the one that was in the coffee collection. So I think that's the one that I am using. It's between those two, but a brownie brown lip liner we use and I'm gonna go on with their lip gloss Mirage it was part of the coffee collection as well and yeah that is the finished look so easy so simple such a pretty look this is kind of like a go-to everyday look so I hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you subscribe and thumbs up this video comment below what other videos you guys want to see from me and I will see you in my next one Bye, guys.